Why hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, we are updating on one of my favorite project pans. This is my Pan Those Eyeshadows um, update for March. If you wanna know how I went on these products in March, then let's jump on into it. I am a little bit excited because today is the day that I get to roulette some new shadows. Not just one, but two new shadows into this project. So giving you a little sneak peek, I hit pan on two shadows this month and I'm very excited, I'm very proud of myself and I cannot wait to see what the new shadows that I'm going to be working on are. So let's start off with, let's start off with, I guess, the ones that I'm not making much progress on. <laughs> All in all, I think I'm doing well overall in this project. There's just a few shadows that, you know, are taking their sweet ass time to show signs of like progress and wear and some that I feel like I'm using a lot and there's like no dip on them. But you know, that's another story. In this project, I'm working on five shadows that I have rouletted from my collection. So randomly selected through a number generator and the spreadsheet that I have that has all my palettes in it and then I have three single shadows that I have just personally gone through my collection and selected to add into this project so all in all because I'm an overachiever I am working on eight shadows in this project at one time that may change throughout the year at the moment I'm feeling really comfortable with a the progress that I'm making and b like the variety and the amount of shadows that I have in this project so we're going to continue that way for the foreseeable future I think so we might start off with the biggest problem child at the moment and that is my Bobbi Brown what is this even called Bobbi Brown sparkle eyeshadow in bone this is like an OG UK YouTuber eyeshadow I feel like back in the day when I was starting to watch YouTube, everybody in UK, in the UK was talking about this shadow bone. And I, from memory, I feel like they used to set or do like a brow bone highlight with this shadow. Um, to be honest, you, you couldn't catch me dead doing that because this just would not work for me as a brow bone highlighter. And I'm not really one to do a brow bone highlighter and I do feel like this is a little bit too chunky and glittery for a brow bone highlighter, but that's just me. Anyway, so last month this was sitting at nine uses and I have used this an additional three times. You can see a little bit of a dip in it and I have actually started because this one doesn't pick up all that well. I've actually started going in with my metal spatula and scraping a little bit off and then applying it. It's made it a little bit easier and I want to thank you guys because actually one of you guys suggested I do that and it actually worked. So can't remember your name, but if that was you and you remember, I thank you very much for that suggestion because it's working. It works really well actually. It makes it a lot easier to pick it up on my finger and a brush doing it that way. So three times extra I have used this. There's a bit of a dip going, but I think the pan is a long way off, especially because I've only used it, what, 12 times in total. It's a little bit pathetic. <laughs> Along with this one, this is my Wish, um, my Bare Minerals Wish palette, and I'm working on the second color in here called Bubbles. This palette actually broke on me this past week. It's come away from <laughs> one side of the hinge has broken, which is very annoying. I used this one an additional four times. That's pretty pathetic, four times. So this shadow is one of the OG shadows. It's been in the project since the intro we're going to continue to power on with it. Um, you can definitely see some wear on the pan. There's definitely some signs of agitation on the pan. So I think, you know, we're starting to get there. I just know that from past experience, I've already hit pan on two shadows in this palette. I know from past experience that these shadows are very, very deep. I'm trying to use this more consistently and more regularly. This is kind of the only shadow now in this project that is like this shimmery bronzy color. So it does pair well with matte shadows. I think it's going to be well and truly a long slog because Next we have my Super Beauty Artisan palette and I have used this one an additional 
uh, five times by the looks of it. And I definitely think that you guys are going to be able to see the dip that is starting to show in the pan. I'm very proud of myself for the little dip that's going. And I don't think there will be pan next month, but possibly the month after if I double the amount of uses, the amount of uses that I've made. So, you know, I'm not... I'm not entirely sure how deep the pans are on this Suva Beauty palette. This is the first Suva Beauty eyeshadow that I've tried to pan. My three singles. So I'm working on three singles at the moment from Makeup Geek. The first one is the color Peach Smoothie. Now I have used this one an additional 18 times since the last month. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see, you'll definitely see in the close-ups, but there is a massive dip going in this one. And I think by the next update, I think this one will definitely have pan on it, especially if I use it another 18 times, 18 or more times. I think I'll definitely hit pan on this one pretty soon. Then we have the color Frappe and oh my God, Frappe is not even showing signs of usage. I have used this little sucker 11 times and you would definitely not even be able to tell. So <laughs> hopefully next month, there will at least be a little bit of a dip going on this one. And then Coco Bear, I used another 10 times and there is a tiny little dip starting to show in this one. I'm hoping that if I use this maybe another 10 to 20 times over the next month, we will have a serious dip going in this one. Or at least one that you'll be able to see in the progress shots because when the dips are like this small, it's very hard to tell in the, um, like in the progress shots. So those are the updates. And for those of you that are watching regularly at home, you can probably guess which ones I've hit pan on this month. The first one is my Chica y Chico One Shot Eye Palette. And I was working on the color Red Eye. This is one of the shadows that's been in the project since the intro. I use this one an additional three times to hit pan. Three? Is that a three or is that a five? I cannot read my own handwriting. It's definitely a three. An additional three times to hit pan. And last month, if you guys remember, the dip was really quite considerable. And now this one up here, you can see there's a really generous size pan in that one. And I can roll this one out. These pans are actually fairly deep. This shade is really nice. I was actually topping it with the Bobbi Brown shadow for the last little bit. Since I introduced the Bobbi Brown shadow, I was layering that over the top of this. And that combo worked really, really well together. This is a nice shadow, but it doesn't have a lot of sparkle to it. And I feel like the Bobbi Brown just added that little extra oomph to the shadow that it was missing. I now have two pans in this palette, which I'm very proud of. I think that's really good, especially I've only had this palette since I think August or September last year. Style Vana sent this one to me and I've already hit two pans in it, which I'm really proud of. And then the last one that I'm rolling out is my subculture palette. So I was working on the color cube and I managed to hit that this month after another seven uses. And it's actually a fairly, fairly decent amount of pan. Rolling two out. So that means, very exciting, we get to roll another one in. I have, this includes my palettes, my single shadows, and I think that's it. Um, palette single shadows oh, and my single like my single pan shadows and my single eyeshadow palettes okay so i have 116 eyeshadow palettes the first one is 73 and then we have number 20. so number 73 is my certify dynasty palette and number 20 
is Melt Rust Palette. Okay, I think that from mem oh, I think I've seen people take ages to <laughs> ages to hit pan on the melt one. So I'm gonna go grab those two out, and then we shall random randomly generate which shadows we're gonna work with in those palettes. I'm a little bit scared and excited. <laughs> So the rust palette, I haven't actually had this for very long. I think I got this for Christmas, Christmas or my birthday this year. So there are 10 shadows in here and this is all like a very neutral tone palette. So I think this one will be pretty easy to roll in on the regular, but this one here I'm a little bit scared of because <laughs> This one might be a little bit more difficult to roll in on a regular basis, but I guess we'll see which shadow we get because that will definitely indicate how easy it will be to work on. So we'll start off with the Rust palette. And we have number five. So one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, it's actually this shimmery color, which is called Tarnish. It is like a, kind of like a rusted copper color. And then with the Dynasty palette, this one has, so this one has 18 shadows. Okay, let's see what we get. Number 16. Ooh, actually, this is exciting. So this is a shimmery green color, this one here. Um, this is very different to everything else that I have had in this project, which is very exciting. Oh my gosh, we have some color. Welcome to the party. Look at that. Um, I think I'm going to struggle <laughs> using this one regularly, but I am excited for the challenge. I'm excited to have something new and colorful in the project. And I guess we'll see how we go. I'll have to note these down. Otherwise, I definitely will forget. But we have two new shadows. Wish me luck on these. I think the Certify might not take me all that long to hit pan on if I'm using it consistently. I think if I... I think it will take me probably around the 20 or a little bit under the 20 uses to hit pan on that one. But this Rust one... Ugh, I don't know... I don't know how long this is going to take me to hit pan on. Let me know down in the comments box how you're going on your eyeshadow panning journey this year. Send me your bravery and your courage down there. Wish me luck on the Melt palette and the Certify palette. While you're down there, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel. You can also join my membership and applaud this video. That's it for this video, everyone. I hope that you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I hope that you are staying safe and healthy and looking after yourself. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, beautiful.